Gaba, one of the Fulani political figures that stood against the irregular movement of cattle in civilized areas, but also admitted to Nigerians that he does not support the Yoruba activists. Sunday Ibowu, he believes is a terrorist. The Fulani people have been under heavy pressures as the violence and death have been constantly tied to their name. And ever since Sunday Ibowu's stance against their actions, people like Adamu Gaba has spoken against him. In his recent statement on Monday, the Fulani man said a quote which he claims Sunday Igbo made says, I will kill you all before 2023 election and I will not allow you to campaign for president. Conclusively, Adamu Gaba related Sunday Igbo to the likes of Shikawu, who is the leader of the dangerous terrorist group Boko Haram. <laughs> After such heavy waste made by the Fulani man and Nigerians are reacting. This Adamu Gaba is just, is just like unstable water going from places to places looking for what to hold on to. That is exactly what he's doing. That is the same man telling Nigerians to that a cow business is the best instead of a, a, going into cryptocurrency when the CBN uh, government or CBN bank but, uh, banned cryptocurrency, cryptocurrency. He started coming out this and this and that. The same man, you know, is it, unfortunate. It's unfortunate. Just looking for what to hand on to. See what is happening in the north now. It's none of his business. The the students that are the students that are that are that have not been rescued. Some days back or yesterday, we learned that they've been rescued again. Oh, they say they have not been rescued. It's not bothered about that one. Today now it's focusing on Igbo statements, what he said and what he did not say. Oh, the incident that happened to Igbo on Friday when the DSS wanted to arrest him. Oh, he didn't say anything. He didn't say anything wrong about that. Looking for what he he, he said and what he did not say. Well, Sunday Igbo is far better than Chicago, just as the West is far from the North. A little references we help. Sunday Igbo is not a kidnapper. For ransom like Chicago, it's not a rapist like Chicago, it's not a murderer like Chicago. Sunday Igbo loves his Yoruba people and does not hurt them, unlike Chicago, who is bloodthirsty and readily kill his own people. Sunday is a Christian and tolerant of people of other religions, whereas Chicago is an intolerant religious by God. Sunday Igbo is a defender of the Yoruba people, while Chicago is a killer of his own people, just to mention but few. Hmm, so I want to say 20, 200% correct. Is Sunday Igbo really a Christian? Is this assumption based on his first name? <laughs> no, he he goes to church. He said he goes to church. So whether he's a Christian or but he's not a Muslim, that is that is that is it. Adamu is a Fulani man. Fulani generally have tone view of national issues. Anything that does not serve their vested interests, no matter how myopic, cannot be right. Sunday Igbo is a freedom fighter, not a terrorist. How can you compare Igbo and Chicago? It's like a coating animal to a human. That's clueless Gaba calling Igbo terrorists and they are the terrorists. The, what they had, those are the things. That is why that's how they are going to be addressing others. Well, Chief uh, uh, Chief Justice Gadamu Abi Adamu Gaba, Sunday Igbo is not like Chicago, he's a freedom fighter. Nigerians should get freedom from uh, Nigerians should got, get freedom from S men. Where were S men taking care of their animals in years back? Why is a open grace that have caused catastrophe in Nigeria? We should tell ourselves the truth so that the peace will reign in Nigeria. We should know that all this killing of people will be accounted for before God. May God help us and help Nigeria. Well, the issue is that a uh, I know, I now know convincingly that the Fulani are brainless. See, as a madman talking of the killings your fathers and brothers performed within and outside the northern region, you are not serious. It's time they arrest this Adamu, Adamu Gaba because it's causing problems for Nigeria. He's talking, his talk is very hateful all the time. Are they not worthy of death? What kind of wicked policies? makes them steal money <laughs> make them steal money and impoverish the populace the guy is just it's hate speech all of them are tired he's just causing hate speech assuming from your warped comparison gaba adamo igbo is a terrorist 
Yoruba terrorists, why can't you deal with Fulani terrorists first and stop chasing, chasing shadows? That's a good one. Just like I said, what is happening in their region is they are overwhelmed. They can't even say anything. They can't even speak. How many times has, has he spoken about uh, Chicago? No. But it's coming now to come and deal with uh, the Yoruba terrorists. Which is your problem? Tell the government to go and deal with uh, the, terror, the Chicago in your area, in your region. You see how they are always looking for trouble. You left, he left his own trouble. What is pursuing him? They are the ones. You, thank God it's not. This is not a, maybe as it's Yoruba people that are waging war against them or that they are kidnapping their children or the Igbos that are kidnapping their children in their region. It is their own people. Now they see come transported themselves again to the south. Now the south has dealing. You are, you, are, they are, you are dealing with. You want to deal with your this thing. You are dealing with your people and yet you still want to go and. You're not even dealing with your, he's not even dealing with his people. What I'm trying to say is that it is the same people who are dealing with them, still dealing with other people, and the people say we don't want this kind of a thing. Let them go back to you. We want to transport them back to you so that you can continue and do your business as as you desire. Do it fully. It is your business. Now it's leaving its own problem, looking for of course now they are looking for a way way to arrest uh, this man. Sunday go. That is the reason for all of this is to divert attention, and it's not going to work. It's not going to work. Oga, don't you know what to say? There's anything you might say that will make Yoruba back out from Sunday. You don't see anything wrong in what your killer Fulani is doing. I have not heard you talk about uh, Agatu and what happened there. Is it because uh, the West refused to be victim? That is all. The reason is the reason why you are saying all this was all that is why all these ways are coming out of, of the people uh, of your mouth and the people of Agatu has been out of their ancestral land and almost four years now. Who and who is uh, living at Agatu now because the southern part won't resist it not to happen here and that is why you are vomiting all this nonsense. This is a, a bloody liar from the pit of A. If you if you know that. Muslim terrorists have refused to disown Chicago and you are all daily coming up with different tactics and sweet ways to paint up Chicago on white as well as other of your fellow Islamic terrorist group. You are all out trying to, so hard to destroy Sunday Igbo. The same man, I say, it's, the guy is confused. Honestly, he's really confused. The same man telling us that uh, if, uh, Chicago is a freedom fighter. And now he's saying that uh, is it not a uh, uh, that is not different? That Igbo is not different from Shekau. The guy uh, is confused. He's confused. You cannot relate Shekau to Sunday Igbo because Igbo is fighting for freedom of his people from the uh, killer Esme. Why Shekau purpose of killing innocent Nigerians in the northern parts of Niger of this country is unknown. So my dear, the difference between the two persons is noticeable. Propaganda of the highest order. Right, right, don't work for Fulani unless one day, one day, they will reward you back, kidnapping you. What is this man saying? Please leave our superhero Sunday Igbowo alone from your madness. He has done what uh, can never be achieved by the entire Fulani and their generations to come cannot do. Why this open grazing? The Fulanis have been in the South West for a very long time and now the criminals among them have brought problems to the country. Sondubu is visible, but Shikawu is a Druculias and invisible. The same thing we are talking about. Can he move? Can he move? Can he move in the streets? Can he move? <laughs> These people are just deceiving themselves. All the problems they brought upon themselves. They are overwhelming it, so they want they are shifting blames. You know that is the what they usually do, try to shift blames. So let's your, let's know your opinion on what a uh, Gaba Adam has said. <laughs>